Before we jump into the Xerox smart contract architecture, let's cover some of the terminology required to understand the inner workings of the protocol. An order is an instruction to buy or sell a tokenized asset in exchange for a different tokenized asset. Uh, an order contains data such as the, the price you're willing to trade at, uh, the, the time at which the order expires, uh, the counterparty who is allowed to fill that order, uh, and the assets actually involved in a trade. A maker is the entity that is originating the order. An order will become valid once it is signed with the private key of the maker. At that point, the order is executable using the Xerox smart contracts. A taker is the entity that fills the order. And a smart contract is a program that automatically enforces some predefined contract between parties. For example, the Xerox smart contracts are able to transfer assets between parties under certain conditions. Smart contracts live on the blockchain, and orders in Xerox live off of the blockchain. This is a pretty important distinction. Relayers are an entity that hosts and maintains an off-chain book of orders. Uh, this is required because orders live off-chain, uh, and relayers are used to facilitate discovery of orders by broadcasting these messages publicly to, to any connected peers. Xerox uses a modular system of Ethereum smart contracts that allow each component of the system to be upgraded via governance without affecting other components of the system and without causing disruption to the markets. Here's a high level overview of the Xerox system of smart contracts. Uh, as you can see, there are four main categories of smart contracts. Contracts can be added or removed or swapped out from any of these categories. Uh, and then we have the relayers on the left uh, who provide the orders that are then consumed by the Xerox smart contracts. Uh, the, the contracts also interact with external Ethereum contracts, uh, mostly the actual token contracts. If we zoom in a little bit, this is what the current state of the system looks like today. So within each category, we have a variety of contracts uh, and more and more are, are being added and will be added within the future. 